Welcome to Make It Out on Monday, your weekly dose from the Healthy Living School. As always, I want to first remind you to enjoy. E-N-J-O-Y. Enjoy is our Make It Up in Monday mantra, as well as our go-to acronym. E, eat real food in 12 hours or less daily. N, nurture your microbiome. J, join me in moving daily. O, optimize your breathing. And Y, yes to restorative sleep. Now on to today's tip. Processed foods and red meat drive a pro-inflammatory gut microbiome. That was the conclusion of a recent powerful study that monitored the diets as well as the gut microbes of 1,425 study subjects across four groups. Those with Crohn's disease, those with ulcerative colitis, those with irritable bowel syndrome, and normal study subjects. Across all groups, higher intakes of animal foods, sugar, processed foods, and alcohol were linked to microbes known to drive inflammation in the body. In contrast, higher intakes of whole plant foods, think fruits, veggies, beans, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and mushrooms, as well as higher intakes of fish, those yummy proteins from the sea, were linked to microbes that decrease inflammation as well as support the health of the gut lining. Given that inflammation is a key driver of most all chronic diseases along with pain and even depression, these findings underscore the importance of eating more whole real plant foods and fish, and eating less red meat and processed foods. For the full lowdown on eating to quiet inflammation, check out my Just Say Whoa to Inflammation mini e-course. Before you go, I will be hosting another live training, Turn Back the Clock with Food, on Thursday, April 7th from noon until 1.30 to include Q&A. In this live Zoom session, I'll be covering how you can use food and eating to shut off the pro-aging pathways while igniting the anti-aging pathways. This hot new science is truly game-changing and is ushering in a whole new era with never before realized personal control over how fast we age at the cellular level. Given that aging is by far the single greatest risk factor for disease and illness, this is a message you do not want to miss.